Directly prior to their failed attempt to impeach Alejandro Mayorkas, far-right reactionary Congresswomen Lauren Boebert and Marjorie Taylor Greene hosted an absolutely bonkers press conference that quickly went off the rails. I have a few clips that truly highlight the battle we have laid out in front of us and the stain that MAGA leaves on politics. Now, remember the context from this clip. They're accusing Mayorkas of not doing his job on the border, saying it's such a crisis and trying to impeach him for that shortly before or they then reject the border bill that they asked for. And here's what Marjorie has to say about everything. Democrats and dishonest people in the media every single day accuse President Trump of waging an insurrection and accuse many of us of waging an insurrection and you're doing nothing but lying and selling the lies of the Democrats all for campaigns and elections. Shame on every single person that has done that. Shame on you. You need to tell the truth. You have the freedom of press. This is a freedom Trump would want to get rid of, by the way, indicating that he would ban news stations that are not friendly to him. And nobody is claiming that you guys yourselves were brave enough to actually do the insurrection. That would be absurd. We're accusing you of inciting, aiding, and abetting the insurrection, or at least Trump. And then the rest of you are trying to downplay and smooth it over so you could have round two at it. Anyone that puts the word insurrectionist calls President Trump an insurrectionist insurrectionist and calls any of us an insurrectionist is a liar and you do not deserve the power that you possess. I wonder what she would say about Trump having called it an insurrection himself, though she probably wouldn't mind because he was blaming Pelosi as the insurrectionist and Marjorie only cares if Republicans are being correctly called out for their actions, not about misinformation being thrown at Democrats. The one thing I'll say is they kept saying about what I said right after the insurrection. I think it was an insurrection caused by Nancy Pelosi. Let's move on to Marjorie Taylor Greene in 2024 still attempting to defend the rioters. The insurrection seems to be the only thing she cares about or can run on. The American people who pay for elections with their tax dollars actually own the elections and have, have the right the right to care about their elections, election integrity, and the results of their elections. When they came to Washington and protested, all of you called it an insurrection. Well, it was an insurrection, so what are we supposed to call it? And I love how she says protest, like they didn't break down the barricades, violently break into the Capitol, chant, hang Mike Pence, and have over 78 weapons on the premises. And with pictures like this coming out, proving there were indeed firearms there in the crowd and fired by the insurrectionists, the whole narrative that these loons try to paint just completely falls apart. The left is afraid, and now they are trying again to rig another election by interfering in this political witch hunt. The only thing I'm afraid of is looking over at the movie theater and seeing Lauren Boebert. She must have forgot that Trump is the one that had the fake electors. He's the one that pressured high ranking officials to overthrow the election. He incited the crowd to come and delay the peaceful transfer of power. It's almost like he was afraid of losing and tried to rig the election. Who knows? They colluded with the government and big tech to censor the Hunter Biden laptop story. We know that Democrats would have changed their votes had they been informed. Now, we've debunked this multiple times on the channel. The only data on the matter shows that the only people who cared about the laptop story is Republicans who were closely following the story. That's a very tiny subset. I think it's less than 20% of even Republicans, not Democrats, not people who would have voted for Joe Biden in the first place. And since the laptop has only produced evidence to debunk claims from right wingers, like they're saying Biden's taking bribes, oh, he's taking bribes from China, where the laptop shows, oh no, it was repayment for a Ford Raptor on two or three different occasions now, this has proven to be the case where right-wingers make these bolsterous claims and then the dreaded Hunter Biden laptop stands to contradict them. If you enjoyed this video, we're Social Society. We're a commentary channel influenced by politics, society, and the economy. We are pretty left-leaning on this channel, but we're open to our right-wingers as well. The biggest thing here is having conversations that get everyone to the bottom of the truth. If that sounds like something that could interest you, consider smashing that subscribe button, leaving us a like, or even commenting on this video. We even have memberships available as low as $3 if you'd like to support. 
because the only way we become a society is together.